Hello everyone, so today we will be reviewing the NECA Puppet Master Ultimate Six Shooter and Jester. I pre-ordered these off of Amazon and like I was really excited for this set because Jester is like one of my favorite puppets from the series, so yeah. The packaging has also been consistent with the previous releases. Warning, you have to be 17 over. It has the Puppet Master logo on the side and the NECA logo on the side as well. Uh, the back has some really cool pictures of the figures and a really nice group shot. I actually really like the group shot of all of them together. Now I do have the rest of them, I just haven't reviewed them, so if you guys are interested let me know and I'll review those as well. So inside when you open it there's this really nice window packaging and you can see the figures and they look really cool. I really like the packaging a lot, like I've always liked it, it's really nice. <laughs> That's why I like kept them in the packaging, although I kind of want to make one of them, like uh, try to make like a big replica of the Andre Too Long chest so that they can like all sit in there and not just have like one figure on each side, you know? That'd be really cool. Hopefully I'll get around to that. But alright, let's open them up and see what's inside. I always have my really cool box cutter handy because I always order <laughs> packages. But yeah. And we have like these stickers on the bottom. And I dinged the box a little bit. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Whatever. <laughs> I opened six shooters side first, even though I'm more excited for gestures. So here's six shooter. Nice packaging. He comes with a bunch of hands. Well, I mean, he has six arms, so there's two sets of hands for each arm. And with his revolvers, of course. The detail on these is really nice. I really love the detail. Like, mine has a fucked up eyebrow, though. So there's that. I'm gonna have to, like, try and, like, scrape that little piece of brown off. You guys can see it. But yeah, here's his hands. He seems to have trigger fingers and, like, gripping hands. But yeah, we'll look at him in a second. I really want to get to Jester. And here we are. Yes. Jester has always been my favorite. Watching the movies growing up, I loved him the most. Like, I really loved... Oh, well, see? He's excited to come out too. <laughs> the little plastic flap fell open. But um, we'll get to his... Oh, he looks so cool. The detail and the paint jobs are so good on these. Like, I really love it. And he comes with two heads, his mallet, his scepter, and then we'll get to his accessories in just a second. But man, he looks cool. And then I'm actually bummed that they didn't allow for like the head to rotate. Like, I get why. These are so small. It's probably not too cool, but it's okay. Two heads is cool too. So yeah, let's open him up. So Jester's held down by just like one little plastic tab thing. You just have to cut that off and then he comes out. Fairly simple. Oh, well. His hat. I heard about his hat from other reviewers. I was so excited to get him. I watched other reviews and like, yeah, I expected this to happen. But I have a solution that will work. So that's okay. It doesn't bother me. He looks so good. And for those of you who don't know, there's nothing holding his hat down. Like, it's just there, and it sits on his head, but there's no tab or anything. Um, I wonder if it looks good in any other angle. Eh, not really. I think it looks great straight ahead. But anyway, if you're a collector, you probably have some blue tack lying around. I do for my figures. So just put a little bit on his head, and then it'll totally hold down his hat. Like small bit and then it's not going to go anywhere. It's like perfect. Um, and it doesn't damage the figure either. You can just take it off whenever you want and it's totally fine. As for articulation, he has a really nice waist swivel and his elbow gives you a pretty far bend. His head's on a ball joint. He can't look up or down very much but side to side and angles, 360, all that good stuff. 
kicks up pretty far. And then not back not so much. And his knee gets you 90 degrees. And then his foot can go forward pretty far, but it can't go back very far. But overall, he's really solid. I really I think you'll get some great poses out of him. Oh, and his arms, sorry, his arms, they also rotate 360 and they're on a swivel as well. So they give you pretty good pretty good range of motion there. So here's his second head. It's like a scared head. Um, the paint job's pretty nice. I really like it. The detail's really cool. And it has the molded line for where his head would spin. Um, mine has a messed up ear there. <laughs> but that's okay, you won't really see that. And again, he has the molded lines, but you can't actually rotate it like you can't, unfortunately. But it still looks nice. And here's his other sad face. We get three faces, so I guess that makes up for like not having a rotating head. Although it would have been nice to have something in between with like a spinning hat as well, but it's okay. These look really nice. And as for these other accessories, I really love his scepter. Like this is what I'm gonna be displaying him with. The detail on this is great as well. And he holds onto it really nicely. Uh, let me see if I can get him into like a little pose or something. That looks cool. He looks really evil, mischievous, maniacal, all that fun stuff. Love it. And he also stands pretty well, being that he's so small. As for his other accessories, he comes with his little scalpel and other two sets of hands. Um, he holds it really well with this hand too, so I like that. But if you wanted a tighter grip, he does come with these other hands. So there's a tighter left hand where the grip is slightly at an angle. And then a tighter right hand. And then can I also have barbecue sauce? Or do you have like a buffalo sauce? No Chick-fil-A sauce? Alright, so let's get on over to Six Shooter. He's also just tied down with like that same plastic tie down. Just cut that one off and then he should be able to just pop out. Although he gave me a harder time for some reason. I couldn't pop him out and I didn't want like, these figures are so small I did not want to possibly break him but he wasn't coming out so like I had to just pop him out of there. So for him, he comes with um, two pairs of hands. There's six hands, of course. So each set has like a shooting trigger hand, and the other is like a more of a gripping hand. And then, of course, his six revolvers. Can't forget those. Really nice detail on the of it. And as for Six Shooter himself, uh, the detail in these figures is so nice. Like. It's so good. He looks so cool. 
Mine says a little smudge on the shirt, but that's not the end of the world. And the hat also left like some residue there. Like if you see on his forehead, but it also has like a little arrow to tell you which side is the correct way to put his hat on. Um, but yeah, he looks so cool. He has his holsters, really nice detail. Now, you can put his bandana over his mouth. I like to just pinch it and then boom, have it on there. It looks good from the front, but it does look kind of funny from the side. He has like a beak, but it's okay. He looks cool. It's a nice option to have. He also stands fairly well on his own. So that's pretty cool. So for Six Shooter's articulation, he has the same ball jointed head. You can get some nice angles out of it, but he won't look up or down very much. And you can get the full 360. His arms are on a swivel. They can go in and out. His arms, like, they'll get you like a 90 degree angle. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then I was looking at, right there, I was lost with that black paint, but it's actually the cuff of his shirt. And then his hands are all on swivels as well. He has a really nice chest joint, a diaphragm joint, and then another one at the waist. So that's really cool. And then as for his legs, uh, they're barely 90 degrees, not going to get you much. And then mine's for some reason. The leg popped off. Like, it's really easy to pop off, but it's on a ball joint, so it's not the end of the world, but something to take note of. His foot's on, like, a swivel. You can get far back that much and forward that much. And yeah, he has great articulation. I mean, it's decent. It's going to get you some nice poses. His hat for me also doesn't really stay on very well, so let me put some of that blue tack on there and then this will make his hat stay in place as well. Be perfect. So all of his guns fit really nicely into his holsters. So if you want to have him pose where like he's not holding his weapons, you can them all in the holsters and it looks really cool So I switched out his arm, um, it's really easy to switch out, you just pull him in, pull him out. Just careful because they are small figures, so definitely don't want to like break them. Now when at least you try pulling on his hand, like his finger was just not facing the right direction to me and like it didn't look right, but if you jam his finger within the trigger and then kind of wedge it between his fingers, he actually will hold it right. There we go. That actually looks better. <laughs> now he's actually holding his gun properly. And he looks really cool. And I just have to get the other five hands going and we're in business. That looks cool. So I put his other guns on off camera because getting that finger within that trigger is kind of hard but once you do he looks really cool 
Love that. And they look so good together. Like, these figures are so detailed and so cool. Like, I need to get my other ones out so, like, they can all be posed together. It looks so cool. Now, as for Six Shooter's other accessories, he does come with these other gripping hands. Like, there's a tighter grip. Now, he can hold, like, other accessories, like, if you wanted him to hold, like, Jester stuff and that. But, like, I wouldn't use it for his guns, because, I mean, obviously the trigger finger is more for a gun. This will hold, like, if you wanted to, like, Jester's mallet or, like, even, like, some of the other accessories that the other figures come with. Like, these hands would work, but... And typically, I think the resting hands and the trigger finger hands are more what Six Shooter will use. Alright, let's put on his bandana so he could give you the full look. <laughs> the full killer puppet vibe. It's great to see how like straight ahead he can shoot. Like if I was if he was looking at someone straight at him. Like how accurate would his bullets kinda be? <laughs> but he looks really cool, like really love this set. Really fun set. There we go. So there you have it guys, that's my review for NECA's Ultimate Six Shooter and Jester from the Puppet Master series. If you're a fan of the series, you should definitely get this set, hands down. It's awesome, it's fun, the detail is great, the figures are great, and they look really nice on any shelf. Like, you'd have fun posing them and having them like as a group shot, that'd be great. And if you like my review, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if possible. Like, I'm just starting out, so like, any feedback or anything would be appreciated. Thank you so much, and see you guys next time.